So I ask you to allow yourself to breathe deeply and just allow yourself to know and to acknowledge that this is a sacred space. Wherever you are, it's a sacred space because you're existing with awareness and with love and with peace. So the space that you are existing in now is sacred because you're there and because of your awareness. And this isn't anything to do with the ego. It's just acknowledging that you are a precious and a sacred being of light and that you naturally influence your reality. And if you can access that sacred energy within you, whatever you perceive it to be, then everything around you will become sacred. Or maybe you'll recognize it as sacred. So just take a moment to acknowledge this. The light within you is building and the light around you is building. As we invoke all light beings of the inner planes of a loving and pure vibration to surround us all now. And we also invite the Creator to be as one with us and to allow us to be instruments of the Creator's light in this moment and just let yourself understand and acknowledge that the light around you and the light within you it is as if it's knitting together and there are no separations There is only the light. And you are existing in the light. As the light. And in this moment, this is your only focus and your only truth. And so you are enabling yourself to let go of your reality and your day, your thoughts and your emotions, and you're just allowing that sacred energy within you to be present and to shine. And I ask that you send this awareness. You can send light, but more so send the awareness. Send the awareness to all those who are gathered into this moment, who are focused into this moment, whether they are physical or spiritual, in energetic vibration. Because that awareness that you have tapped into, that's like treasure. It's sacred. It deserves to be shared. And you deserve to receive it.
blessings to you on this radiant day of light. I come forward to you. I am Lady Portia. It is, of course, a divine gathering. As I sit with you in your circle, gather closer, dear ones, for you are not here to listen to my energies and my consciousness, but you are here to share your truth with each other. We are gathering now upon the inner planes. Your soul is soaring, soaring to connect into the Christ Ashram. Let us enter in at the galactic level. Let us enter into an ashram and a chamber of truth. And let us be as one in a circle, joined together in love and harmony. For I come forward as a friend as a star in the night sky to inspire you to light the way to help you forward let us bring into our circle the most beautiful Christ star you are aware at the time of the birth of Master Jesus, there was a star that shone brightly in the night sky. That was the presence of the Christ Consciousness emanating from the inner planes. And the star that is before you now, that hangs within our circle, is the same star. This star is composed of all the energy, the essence of all beings who have obtained their Christ initiations, whether they are planetary Christs, solar level Christs, galactic Christ, universal, multi-universal or cosmic Christ beings. Their essence exists within this star, created this star. And this star now emanates deeply into our circle. You may feel its rays entering into all of your chakras. It holds that vibration of recognition of the Christ light, of unconditional love selfless love, active love, and self-creator love. And these beams of light from the star emanate into your chakra column. They emanate and penetrate every aspect of your being. You may welcome this light. You may recognize this light. This golden, golden vibrations of purity and truth. Let yourself bathe. Let us all bathe together. as we sit in the chamber of truth within the Christ ashram at a galactic level. 
Now there is much that I wish to share with you today. Let me first introduce myself. For we all know each other. But I will still introduce myself. I am Lady Portia. The labels that I hold are of an ascended master, are of Shohan or Overseer of the Seventh Ray. Although I filter my energies and observation throughout all rays of the Creator's light, I am also a galactic Christ, meaning that I have integrated the Christ vibrations at a galactic level. Let me bring forward to you, let me usher as waves of light, the violet, light that I work with so predominantly, the violet light of the new age, assisting and supporting the new age, the new awareness, the new spiritual abilities, the new spiritual consciousness, the new spiritual awakening upon the earth. Let this energy waft over and through you as you remain before the star. It is like the most fragrant flowers merging with your entire being. It brings the energy of the Christ into a new perspective as something that is required in the new age. The new age that you are existing in now, but the new age is every present moment. And this violet light is encouraging the Christ light to be used within your reality and your spiritual ascension to aid your spiritual awakening and pathway upon the earth. It is an energy that assists you and supports you in dealing with a constantly awakening being, a being that is constantly realizing, constantly accepting and giving a being such as yourself. The violet light will remain with us, adding an extra vibration of support and an extra vibra vibration of manifestation. Manifestation of the Christ consciousness into your reality and ascension appropriately. to aid illumination, the activation of your abilities, your skills as a divine being, the activation of the expression of love. Let this violet energy as you exhale 
It flows through your being like a waterfall extending as you exhale into the area below you along the floor of the chamber into the energetic levels and dimensions all around you but beneath you almost as if a river of violet light is flowing from your being in all directions. This means that you are existing in the divine flow of the seven ray energies. It is also a grounding. So it is as if you are existing, sitting within a river, or maybe a mist of violet light all around you. Now please take the attention of your being to slightly below your root chakra. You will find that you are sitting upon a golden disc and this golden disc isn't solid but is liquid. So you might acknowledge it like a golden puddle that you are existing, that you are sitting in. Now this is one of my most favorite exercises to teach those that connect with me. It is nothing new but it is blissful. Imagine that puddle, that disk of golden liquid light beneath you. As you inhale, breathe this golden liquid light as if it is a tube all the way up through your root chakra, through your sacral chakra your solar plexus chakra, your heart chakra, your crown chakra, moving also through your throat chakra and your third eye reaching the crown and from the crown it extends like an umbrella of golden liquid light cascading like a shower head over your being into your auric field. Running back down into the puddle. Now let us achieve this. So you inhale and you draw the energy of golden Christ Consciousness light up through your chakra column. As you exhale, the energy flows out. It showers like an umbrella and is replaced or enters back into the puddle beneath you. Again we inhale. Make it a deep inhale and exhale as the light showers from your crown all around you. 
inhale from the base of your being. Exhale and let the energy shower out. Inhale from the base of your being. All the way up your chakra column. And exhale. Let the energy flow out. Inhale from the base of your being all the way to your crown. Exhale, let the golden light shower over you. Inhale, let the energy flow up your chakra column. Exhale, let the energy flow out. Continue with this practice for a few moments. Circulating throughout your entire being. All of your chakras are becoming shiny and bright. Your entire being is existing like a golden being. Maybe a golden man or a golden woman. Or maybe you are even allowing yourself to let go of that aspect of your being. And you are acknowledging yourself existing as your soul, communicating with the Christ Consciousness Light. Now the Christ Consciousness Light for me is an energy which feeds my soul. It is an energy that nurtures and nourishes my soul at all and every time of my present moment. It is my purpose often to work with the violet light and to also work with the violet flame of transmutation. This is a very potent energy. It can purify, dissolve all unneeded energies. It is a strong, and one might say a harsh cleanser. For it strips all unneeded energies away. And with such a light, the Christ consciousness always is required to be present. And this is my belief. When you allow the Christ consciousness to be present with the violet light and the violet flame of transmutation. You are anchoring love into new possibilities, but you are also anchoring love into a deep and absolute cleansing process so that the outcome and the reality and the result is always love. For in truth it is love that your entire being yearns for. It is the Christ light, that active vibration of love, unconditional love, selfless love, love for self and the Creator that feeds the soul. Now you feed your physical body 
to nurture and to sustain it. But do you feed your soul as many times as you feed your physical body? Do you feed your soul with the Christ Consciousness Light? This is something that I invite you to contemplate. and maybe to accept as a mission. And how do you feed your soul with the Christ Consciousness Light? You can simply say, I link my soul as one with the Christ Consciousness Light. I link my soul as one with the Christ Consciousness Light. It can be your own words, but it only needs an intention, an observation. Maybe just a glance inwardly recognizing that your soul is embraced in the purest of golden light, the purest Christ Consciousness light. <laughs> 